Hey everybody, this is Sean with Tab Performance. Today I'm going to be installing the R0 Ultimate Ride Suspension Kit on our 19 Street Glide. Here's everything that comes in the kit. It's going to come with everything you need to get it installed, including the high output compressor, the handlebar mounted switch, and of course the two Fox branded shocks along with everything else you see here um, this kit is compatible with all 09 to 21 touring models there are some models like the 14 and up CBOs with the bag speakers that require an initial accessory kit which can be bought separately but any 09 to 21 touring models it can be made to work all right so I've already got a jump on step number one which is to remove the left and right hand saddle bag along with the left and right hand side cover, as well as the seat. As soon as you get those out of the way, um, the next step will be to actually remove the shocks. Before you get the shocks removed, you do want to make sure your bike is jacked up just slightly so that rear tire is just barely off the ground. That way, when we pull the shock off, the swing arm doesn't fall down. Um, but we'll go through that process right now. So as I mentioned before, this kit does fit 09 to 21 Touring models. so. The bolts holding your shocks on may be different, but the ones on this 19 Street Glide Special require a 3 quarter inch socket. Once you get the right hand side taken off, then we'll jump over to the left hand side and get that one removed as well. Next we're going to remove the saddlebag support bolts. We're going to reuse this bigger one on the outside and then we're going to replace this smaller one on the inside with a supplied 516 bolt. This outside bolt will take a T45 socket and this bolt on the back side will take a 9 16 Again, hold on to that, we're going to reuse it. The inside smaller one is a T40 and a half inch nut on the back. Okay, with those two bolts out of the way, next we can get the compressor installed. Again, we're going to reuse the bigger bolt and then we're going to use the 516 bolt that comes in the kit. We're just going to install it back where those bolts came out of. And one thing to double check, there is a clearance check that you want to do back here. It's with the compressor and the rotor itself. If you have less than a quarter inch of clearance between the compressor and the rotor, you do want to add the supplied lock nut between the compressor and the bracket itself that'll kick it out just a little bit and give you the, the clearance that you need so that's not rubbing up against anything. I've double checked mine. My clearance was just a little bit smaller than a quarter inch so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Next we're going to take the supplied wire extension, connect it to the live wire on the compressor. Next we'll take our quarter inch airline hose and snug it into the compressor fitting. Once the airline hose is in there we're going to start to route everything up to this right hand side cover. Before we route the wire we do want to get it wrapped in the split loom. Next we'll take the airline hose and live wire and route it up along the fender here. We'll just use the supplied zip ties along the way to hold it in place up into our right hand side cover. Next we'll get the shocks prepped. We're going to take the supplied Voss, thread it into the shock. And that's 
in there, we can pull out the white cap. Next, we'll take the supplied four millimeter airline hose, push it into the boss until it seats. And then to verify everything's snug and in place where it should be, you can go ahead and back this out. Just to make sure that keeper's in place. And get it reinstalled. And then we'll tighten this down with a 10 millimeter wrench. And then it only comes with one line, but what we'll do is we'll get this one installed, route the airline to where it needs to be, cut off the extra and we'll use the extra on the left hand side. And you do want to have this facing towards the bike. If you want you can actually twist this around um, and actually have the boss on the outside but I do like to have the rebound adjustment there just facing out just so it's easier to access. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. I'm just going to kind of line it up where it needs to be run the wire so it's not getting kinked or anything like that and then you may need to adjust the your lift just to get it spread to where the shock is at next we're actually going to replace the stock bolts that hold the stock shocks to the frame with the supplied bolts in the kit um, we do want to make sure that we use a little bit of blue loctite on there so I'll just go ahead and get that put in there top and bottom all right next I'm going to route the airline hose to the general area where it's going to be it's going to install into the air manifold which gets installed right about here which we'll go through here in a second um, once I snip that off I'm going to use the extra from this hose and then we're going to use it on the left hand side All right, now that we have our shocks installed, we have our airlines ran to the right-hand side of the bike. Underneath the side cover here, I got the left-hand side installed. That line is routed kind of underneath the seat. The right-hand side cover, we're gonna get our air manifold installed. And this is kind of, goes wherever it fits best. There's not a, a best position for any one bike. If you're like us, we have a couple other accessories that are kind of um, in this same position here. We have our target tune. Um, wiring harnesses. We also have um, our Ciro LED lights, a couple wires running through here. So wherever it fits for you, but you just want to make sure it's out of the way so you can get that cover back on and so you can access all the points here. So the way that works best for me, I'm just going to mount it like this. I have the wires routed up underneath the frame there, coming in up underneath the seat. I'm going to take the supplied mounting bracket and bolt. That'll thread into a threaded hole here in this side cover. And I'll take the other two supplied bolts that will secure the air manifold to the bracket. Next we're going to install two of the bosses into the manifold here. Then we're going to take our two airline hoses from the left and right hand shock and get them installed into each one of these. Next we're going to install our handlebar mounted switch. To do that, it's just going to mount into the clutch housing here. So we're going to remove this lower clutch housing bolt. That's a T27. With that bottom bolt removed, we'll take our switch. Let's put it in place where it fits. Reinstall our bottom bolt. With that bolt back in place, next we can route our wires up through the handlebar. And I'm actually gonna go down into the fairing and then underneath the tank 
back to the battery. All right, the last two main pieces here, we have our wiring harness and our fuse relay. I'm gonna mount the fuse relay underneath the left-hand side cover over here. I'm gonna route the wires up underneath the frame towards the battery. The wiring harness, I'm gonna just find a place that best fits. It might be a little bit different for you because as you can see, we got a lot going on here. Lots of wires, lots of harnesses. Now I've got the switch wires ran down from the handlebar underneath the seat over to the right hand side. Now I'm going to get these cut to length and add the correct male and female spade connectors onto these. And it is in the manual, so be sure to double check that, but you do want to make sure you get the right male and female uh, spades on each one of these because we're going to be connecting them into the wiring harness and the fuse relay that already have male and female spades on there. So you're going to make sure you get these right so we get the right connections when we get those connected. Orange wire gets a male spade, as does the ground wire. The two red wires are going to um, actually be put together in the same female spade so just make sure you're aware of that that these two red wires are going to go in the same spade we have two more fittings to install um, the female spade is going to go on one of the black wires coming out of the air manifold the last one is going to go on the second black wire coming out of the ear manifold. Right, the black wire with the female piece coming out of the air manifold is going to go to the black wire with the male piece coming off of the switch, the handlebar mounted switch. Next I'm going to get all the connections done for our wiring relay. The orange one will go to the orange wire that's coming down off of our handlebar mounted switch. And you'll see that there's three red wires coming out of our wiring harness. Two of them that are wrapped together, one of these is going to be split off that and goes to the fuse. The other one is going to be split off and it's going to be ran to the double red wire on the handlebar switch. And that's why we want to make sure we pay attention to which spade we put on this one because it's only going to work with the male spade on the wiring harness. This last red wire coming off of the wiring harness is going to get plugged into the red wire that we have coming off of the compressor that we ran earlier. One thing that I'm going to uh, do here is get this all tidied up because it is kind of all just a jumbled up mess right now. So be sure everything's um, square so you know you're hooking the right connections up to um, the right pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, next step I'm going to get the fuse harness uh, wired up. You'll notice that one of the cables is much shorter than the other one. The shorter one with the ring terminal is going to get connected to the battery so you want to make sure you have that mounted close to the positive terminal that's why i have it on the left hand side the before you go ahead and get everything installed and back on the bike you do want to make sure that everything's working so you don't have to take everything off um, if it's not and while you're doing that be sure to check for leaks you can spray some water near the airline connections see if any bubbles come up um, then you know you got a leak so just be sure of that um, last up here is just to get the bags and the seat on. Um, I'm going to show you how to put the bags on because there is a spacer provided in the kit to push the bag out just a little bit because it does interfere with the shock on some models. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. 
So when you're reinstalling the bag, all you're gonna do is take the supplied spacer and add it in between the bag and the frame. So it'll go on there just like this, if you can see that. Also, they do include some rubber O-rings that you can put on at the end of your bag screw there, just so when you take it off, um, that spacer doesn't go falling off. So just slide that in like you normally would. spacer in place, take the retaining rubber o-ring, and then just screw your bag on like you normally would.